out on course, and we're gonna keep eyes on the action as it goes on out on Zwift right now. And I am expecting to see the usual all out uh, pace that we get at these races. And right from the get go, we've got Pete Yeats, Bath Salts, Bane, Grown, Craddock is right there as well. Nine watts per kilogram, boys and girls. Right up into that 544 watts. See Keen Rockwell, ZNAT, coming out of Australia in his midday over there in Australia, hanging onto those wheels as well. Immediately, we do see a gap forming right from the get-go. Uh, and I don't think they're ever going to see this lead pack again, any of the chasers. It might slow down, but with what just one kilometer, I mean, it's just, I mean, one 10 kilometer lap. It's going to be an all-out pace right from the get-go. I don't think it's going to be slowing down one bit whatsoever. Craddock here at 5.0 watts per kilogram now up toward the front in that Canada traffic kit. And as far as the results go from this rider, if you're unfamiliar, if you aren't familiar with Lawson, uh, you've got some serious, serious results we can look at over at uh, the Slipstream Sports. There, but Lawson absolutely killing it. I'm going to see if ZwiftPower.com has some information. It does. So it looks like Lawson Craddock, he does not have any past races actually out on Zwift, so his name does not have any links on it. But got his first W, it looks like, at 5.5 watts per kilogram actually for the duration of the race. It was a 13.33 lap. Paul Yeats, it was his first race as well, it looks like, out of Great Britain. Uh, it looks like with about three seconds back at 5.2 watts per kilogram. Matt Johnson came across the line, 13.32. 